Overnight rain gave way to another mild but breezy day at Oatlands, drawing plenty of golf fans to the second round of the Bingley Fujitsu New South Wales Open. Lindsay Wright birdied seven in a row from the fourth hole to set up a stellar round, but then passed the birdie baton to her French playing partner, Joe Clatton. She got a great read off Wright's putt at 13 to drain a long one. They followed each other up 16 too, and both had a good look at birdie after fine approaches. But it seemed Wright's luck had turned for the worse. This one refused to drop. Clatton duly cashed in and followed it up with another at 17 to move to seven under. It was a good day out for both, and incredibly at 18, they again almost had the same putt, but this time it was Clatton's turn for frustration with the flat stick. Nevertheless, 15 birdies between them, and Wright equaled the course record with a 64. I started well, um, didn't make anything at the first three holes, and then four through 10 birdied them, so it was just going hell for leather out there. It was awesome, it was really good. And when we were following you and Joe, it seemed like you were feeding off each other. Yeah, we, it's it, it's a it was a bit of a putting competition between us out there. We're both hitting the ball really well, so we're hitting it close, and she'd hit it close. And and it's when you play with other players who are playing well, you just kind of feed off them. It was funny playing with uh, Lindsay because um, she had uh, seven birdies in a row, something stretch uh, throughout the middle of the round, and so it made me feel like I was playing crap. Like I <laughs> the tape on your right arm uh, does it help you? Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, it's a physio uh, of a tour, Andy Levick, that um, taped me two days ago and uh, looked after me because I was just having some inflammation in my joints. But it's much, much better now. Uh, he's sort of a magician for us, so. WA's Jessica Speechley was playing in the group behind them and putting together a fine round. She'll return for a second season on the Japan Tour later this year and looks like she'll be taking promising form with her after a 68 that leaves her at 7 under. The Japan Tour is more of a step step up leading towards the LPGA, get some experience done, hopefully do well this year, make top 10, top 20 in the money list and get exemptions into the US Open and all of that. So I'm looking forward to that. After a bogey-free 68 on day one, Nikki Campbell looked in ominous form again when she birdied the first and went out in 32, but backed off to post a 70. Overnight leader Christy Smith had an up and down journey on day two and had to do it solo, but no caddy for some of the round hardly affected her putting. Adding fuel to the theory that trees are mostly air, she followed the birdie at 15 with a pinpoint approach at 16. Two under for the day and well positioned to challenge for the title after firing the elusive good rounds back to back. I sort of don't like that theory and the fact I should have, you know, I played well yesterday and I'm confident, so why not go out and shoot 65 again? But um, no, it was good. I, I ha I'm proud of the way I handled myself today and haven't been in that position in a while and uh, got it going through sort of 10, 11 holes and then kind of struggled coming in, but um, that's golf. I'm sure you played without a caddy plenty of times before. What difference does it make to you? Yeah, um, I've just got a good mate on my bag, Courtney, and we play junior golf together and she, she's quite funny and she always keeps me quite relaxed on the golf course and um, she's got that personality to make you laugh. So I really enjoy having her on the bag and yeah, she had to uh, go off to work. Um, I think she was running a little bit late actually and uh, she's got a new job so she had to go off there and I did the last sort of six holes by myself. The breeze did pick up in the afternoon, but it didn't stop the low scores coming. Cherie Allison cantered home with a 67. While playing with her was former top Australian amateur Stephanie Nah. A bogey at two, her only blemish as she reeled off seven birdies for a 66 and the share of the lead at 10 under. It was a lot of fun really. Um, you know, I birdied the first just holding a putt from off the green so it was a bit of a bonus. Um, gave it straight back on the next hole though um, with a three putt. But uh, yeah, just ha got on a birdie run there and then um, after I was done with my run, you know, Shuri had her little birdie run, so it was, uh, and Hannah was playing really solid throughout the day too, so it was, it was good. We're just, you know, pushing each other to just keep making birdies, so. Nine players are between seven and ten under, going into the final round of the Bingley Fujitsu New South Wales Open at Oatlands.